Are you ready to take your animation techniques to the next level? Here are 10 essential animation techniques everyone should know in After Effects. Be sure to drop a like on the video and let's get started. The first animation is a simple bounce. Here's our graphic and we'll make a scale animation by pressing S on the keyboard, then set a keyframe at the start of the timeline, set scale to 0%, move forward a bit on the timeline, set scale to 140%, move forward a little bit more and set the scale back to 100%. You can see now that we have a rough bounce animation, but now we'll smooth it out by highlighting the first and last keyframes and pressing F9 to make them easy ease keyframes. Open the graph editor tool, pull the left and right sides of the curve toward the center like this so that the animation speeds up in the middle and you're done. A simple bounce animation made easy. The next animation is a quick overshoot. This is the same as our bounce animation, but this time we're using position. Press P for position, set a keyframe, move forward a bit, set another keyframe, Move forward a bit more and set a third keyframe. Go back to the first keyframe and move the position of the graphic to be off screen. Go to the second keyframe and put the graphic a bit past its destination like this, then leave the third keyframe as is. You can see now that it overshoots its destination, then moves back. Now we'll smooth it out again by making the first and last keyframes easy ease. Go into the graph editor and pull the curves toward the center just like the first animation. Now you have an overshoot animation. The third animation is a 3D ease in. Start by enabling the layer as a 3D layer. Set a keyframe for position at the start. Move forward a bit. Set another keyframe. Then go back to the first and move the graphic down off screen. Now press R for rotation. Set a keyframe for Y rotation at the start. Move forward the same amount as your position animation. Set another keyframe. Then go back to the first keyframe and set Y rotation to one whole rotation. Highlight the end keyframes for position and rotation, make them easy ease, open the graph editor, and pull the curve to the left so that the animation starts fast and then eases in. And that makes a 3D ease in animation. The fourth animation is a rotate in bounce. Here we have a graphic with the bounce animation we made in the first technique. To make it rotate, all you need to do is press R, set a keyframe for rotation at the start and end of the bounce animation, go to the first keyframe, and then add one whole rotation. Make both keyframes easy ease, open the graph editor, and pull both sides of the curve to the center for a burst of speed in the middle of the animation. Now our bounce animation has a spin to it. The fifth animation will make our graphic hover. For this, all you need to do is set a keyframe for position at the start, move forward a bit, then move the position up just a tiny amount. Make the keyframes easy ease. We don't need the graph editor this time. Now hold down the Alt key and click the stopwatch for position to open the expression controls panel. Type in loop out with a capital O, parentheses, quotations, ping pong. The loop out expression makes an animation infinitely repeat itself and adding ping pong to it will make the animation go back and forth so that our graphic constantly goes up and down. And now our graphic is hovering. Before we move further into the video, creating animations and edits from scratch can be absolutely time consuming. That's why we've developed over 20,000 templates for Adobe After Effects and Premiere Pro. With our Motion Duck extension, you can preview and apply animations and templates with the click of a button. Then you can easily edit everything within the template to fit your project. So instead of spending hours on something that can take minutes, be sure to check out our templates with the links in the description. You can also download our free 100 template pack as well. Now back to the video. Animation 6 is called a Y Rotate In. Start by enabling the layer as a 3D layer, then set a keyframe for Y Rotation at the start of the timeline, move forward a bit, and set another keyframe. Go back to the first keyframe, set Y Rotation to 90 degrees so that its side is facing towards the camera like a piece of paper. Make the keyframes easy ease, and pull the right side of the curve to the left in the graph editor. We can still see the graphic when it's rotated on its side at the start, so press T for opacity, set a keyframe, Set the opacity to 0%, move forward just a couple frames and set the opacity back to 100%. This will hide the side of the graphic for the first few frames until it starts animating in. Now we have a Y rotate in animation. The seventh animation is a nice 3D flip. Enable the graphic as a 3D layer, then we'll start by creating a basic scale animation having the graphic slowly grow onto the screen. For the 3D flip, set a keyframe for X rotation at the start and end of our scale animation. Go back to the first keyframe and set the whole rotations to 2. Make all of the keyframes easy ease and pull both sides of the curve to the center to smooth out the animation. Now your graphic will flip onto the screen. Animation 8 will make your graphic flicker. Press T for opacity on your graphic, set a keyframe at the start, move forward just a couple frames, set opacity to 0%, then add a loop out expression on the opacity without the ping pong added to it. Now move forward a bit on the timeline, 
Press Ctrl Shift D to split the layer, move the keyframes to where this new layer starts, spread them out a bit, then highlight them, right click, go to Keyframe Assistant, and time reverse the keyframes. Move to the end of these keyframes, press Ctrl Shift D again for another split, then remove all of the keyframes from this final layer. Now the graphic flickers, fully appears, and then stays solid for the rest of the composition. And that's how you make your graphic flicker. We're going to make our graphic roar with Animation 9. We have a graphic here with a bounce animation from our first technique, and what we're going to do is press R for rotation, and set a keyframe at the final keyframe of our bounce animation. Move backward a few frames, set the rotation to 13 degrees, go back a few more frames, set rotation to negative 13 degrees, then repeat this process a few more times until you get about halfway between the first two bounce keyframes, and set the first rotation back to 0 degrees. Now your graphic will roar as it pops on screen. Our final animation will put our graphic on a set path. All you need for a custom path is to highlight your graphic, select the pen tool, then draw whatever path you want your graphic to follow along. Once you're done, open the graphic layer, find the mask, highlight it, and press Ctrl C to copy it. Open the position, then highlight and paste that mask onto your position property. A position animation that follows the path will automatically be created and you can drag around the keyframes it makes to adjust the timing however you need. Now your graphic follows a custom path. If you liked the video, be sure to subscribe for even more helpful animation techniques and remember, always be creating.